friend of mine bought himself a wood turning lathe and two years on and he still not used it. When I asked him why, he said there's two main reasons, a lack of confidence and lack of tools. So I told him why not try making a pen. I'd even send him one and I know he's bought a pen mandrel. I was once told that anyone can make a pen, but not everyone can make a nice pen. But regardless of that advice, they are ideal projects for beginners to start with. But he's told me that he hasn't bought any tools yet, so I said who needs tools? Now he thought I was kidding, but hopefully this video will prove him wrong. A few months ago I signed up with Patreon for help, but I always like to try and give back where I can. As part of my Patreon tiers, I do a yearly prize draw, where I film myself making something, which will be given away to one of the patrons in a random prize draw. I've decided that this year this will be the project, providing it works of course. I thought this would be an ideal gift because it's suitable for everyone, and if I'm honest, of all the pen kits, this is definitely my favourite. This pen kit's a Zeta, and it's gunmetal and gold, and it's from Taylor's Murfield. The blank that I'll be using is four-figured olive wood. I decided as well to use epoxy for the first time ever. I've used CA glue, but I normally use a polyurethane glue, but apparently epoxy seems to be the better option, so I thought I'd give it a go. So as promised, no lathe tools, just a Stanley knife and some sandpaper. The olive is fairly soft in parts, but it's quite hard and dry in other places, so I had to be careful how much I took off in one go just so it didn't split. My thinking was it was better to be safe than sorry, even if it takes me a little bit longer to make. I also tended to cut away from myself where possible, just for safety reasons. Then to take out a few lumps, I just wrapped some sandpaper around a small block of softwood. Then the rest of the blank was shaped by sandpaper in the hand. The shape I was going for was a slight bubble shape. Once I was happy with the shape, I went through various grits, sanding all the way up to 600. Then to finish the pen I used one coat of sanding sealer and three coats of melamine. I tend to denib with 6000 grit micromesh and polish the melamine using 6000 to 12000 grit. So as not to damage the pen I use a spur pen nib, as squashing the parts together can sometimes round over the end of the pen. I also like to add a dab of Loctite, just so the mechanism can't be unscrewed accidentally.
and that's all there is to it. Proof that you don't need a bunch of lathe tools to make a half decent looking pen. Obviously it's a lot easier with the proper tools, but it goes to show that it's possible to make a pen with just a sharp knife and some sandpaper. Prior to making the videos on YouTube, I worked as a firefighter for nearly 20 years, serving my community and helping to save lives and promote the fire safety message. Unfortunately, an accumulation of many upsetting scenes became too much for my mind to cope with, and after years of failed therapy, I was retired from the service on the grounds of ill health and signed off medically from any employment. To keep myself busy, both body and mind, I developed an interest in woodworking and car mechanics and with already having a hobby in filming and music, I combined my interests and started making videos here on YouTube, filming, editing and composing my own music for my woodworking and car restoration channels Smugwood and Smugwood Mini. Unfortunately, to produce such videos comes at a price, and with minimal funds after being retired from employment, I've turned to Patreon to see if there's additional support out there which could allow me to continue making the woodworking and car restoration videos. In return for support, there are various levels which are explained in more depth at the Patreon link below, but includes the chance to win one of my YouTube projects made throughout the year, and also inclusion into random prize draws open to patrons only. In addition, I'd like to thank everybody who already subscribes to my channels, or watches, comments, likes and shares them as it all goes to help support my channels, and for that I'm really appreciative. It's my hope that I can continue making the videos for the foreseeable future. Thanks once again for your continued support.